Man, it just, it smells good out here. It looks good. It's raining. Oh my goodness. <laughs> There's a good one. I got something on here that's big. Yes. That's it right there. That's what you needed. Okay. I'm gonna do it. Oh my god. Ooh, this might be a little sketchy. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are at my backyard pond. This place is lit, well, my backyard lake, which is literally behind my house. We're gonna go up here and probe around for some hybrids. There's big hybrid bluegill in here and channel cats. So see if we can't throw out here and get on anything. I know it's been a few years since I've been up here and the cicadas are in full swing. I think we're gonna try some cicadas for bait. As you can see, They are everywhere. So we'll try to get on some of those guys for bait. And I've got some night crawlers, so that should come in handy. But man, these things are everywhere. Yeah, I think that'll, that might get us one. It'll be fun to try. So let's get up here guys and see what we can't get on. Some of these things are gonna be bait. If they're big enough, we may do a catch and cook and eat some or just throw them back. I don't know yet. That's if we even catch anything. It's kind of two o'clock, middle of the day. I don't know how good they're gonna be biting, but I do know they're on the beds. So let's figure it out. See if they come off. They might get wet. <laughs> yeah, they come off. Uh-huh. Jeez. I think all the males are up there, you hear them all? Oh, that was fun. <laughs> all right, so we're coming up on the lake now. This place is so neat. So actually, so what happened was, she used to be private property, but the guy that owned it donated this place to our city to turn into a recreational park, which is huge news for our little town. It's still going to be quite a few years before it's up and running, but it's going to be pretty cool. It's going to be a public area. So we get first hand look at it kind of the mayor kind of let me come up and play around now so I don't have to sneak up here anymore so that's always a plus here it is all right we are hooked up I'm ready to throw out here definitely a fun fishing kind of day a little adventure See if there's still anything in this this lake. It's a huge lake. It's really big. First cast. I'm gonna get a catfish rod out here in just a few. Maybe we can just make it up. There's another decent one. Yeah, make a uh, fishing lake out of it. Make it pretty. Yep. It looks like a. That's a, that's a hybrid. Yeah. It's a green sunfish and a bluegill. Mm -hmm. They get them big old mouths and them yellow tips on their tail yeah. and fins. All right, we're gonna try over here at this little point right here. Looks a little deeper. Jack, get out of there right now. See, now you're stuck, stupid. Kind of get a little more protection from the rain right here. There's one. There's a good one. Look at this hybrid. Sandwich size here. He just had a light color, but that is a hybrid. You can tell by the size of the mouth on these things. Keeper. Decent size. Oh, there's a big one that just rolled out there. There's one. Yep, there's another one. He's not as big, but definitely filetable. 
and the bucket you go. Man, it just, it smells good out here. I know, it, does. it looks good. It's raining. Oh my goodness. <laughs> There's a good one. I got something on here that's big. Yes, that's a catfish. <laughs> it is a channel. <laughs> Don't come off, buddy. See, Jack, get. Oh my gosh. There's a uh, dinner right there. A couple bluegill and a channel cat. Look at that, you guys. Pretty little channel. Look at the spots. When they got spots like that, you know they're going to be delicious, especially out of a clean uh, reservoir like this. This used to be our city's old water district. This is where they got their water from. But now it's just a, a recreational lake. Yeah, I'm going to have to tie on another hook. This guy just choked that down. In the bucket you go. Whoo! Get another hook on here and do that again. There's another one. We got another one on there, guys. Another channel cat. He probably swallowed the hook, too. Oh, yes. Get Jack. <laughs> Jack. Get. Yeah. Tell you what, these things must have been on the bed right there. Must have been on the bed. But that's number two. Now we really have a fish fry. So I think what I'm planning on doing is to sit here for a little bit longer. And if we don't do any good, we'll just circle the lake and try to find these channel cats on the bed. They're probably bedding here first before the river. They're not bedding at the river yet because the water's colder. The water warms up here a lot quicker. So. All right, now we can target and pattern these fish. Get another hook on. Size two uh, true turn crappie hooks is what I'm using right there. All right, let's get this on here and do it again. All right, guys, so far, so good, man. That's been fun. I've just moved up here to this little beaver lodge. This is an old lodge. I'm gonna try to find some, some more things like this and start putting baits out here. See if we can't pull out of here. Throw around right here. Right over by that stump. Oh, there's another one. Bluegill. And he choked it. Let him sit there with it way too long. All right, we got that one out. Poor guy swallowed it. And I don't have pliers. I had to pull it pretty hard. But... There's another channel. Another one. Oh yeah. Now my dog's gonna attack this again. Whoo boy. Another one. These things have gotta be bedding up shallow right now for them to be hitting like this. Jack, no. Yeah. yeah, I mean, he's got a mark on his nose. Spawning mark. At least he didn't swallow this one. And he's got a little purple around his mouth. 
that's definitely a pre-spawn fish definitely make that assumption right now let's get this guy in the bucket instantly as soon as that bobber hit yep another channel oh i seen the channel swipe at it first that one's kind of interesting Let's get that black on his tail huh, pretty cool instantly Thin as it hit. That's a keeper size. Get the mouth on that thing. He's not bad. That's a good quality adult hybrid right there. Not the monster I'm looking for today, but that's a good eating size. We'll take it. Man, you guys, it's I've been having so much fun today. As soon as it hit the water. <laughs> Days like this are just so much fun. I miss it. it. Brings out the kid in me. When I was eight, nine years old out here doing this, just having a blast. Just using night crawlers that I literally plucked out of my yard. Went out with my flashlight and gathered a bunch of night crawlers up. Come right here to my backyard lake catch some good fish we're taking a good hike all the way around the lake here just moving hopping around that's what seems to be working just moving and catching fish moving catching fish this is the shallow cove back here it's probably where it's going to be good at, hopefully all right oh yeah channels taste great out of this lake oh yep there's a good one there's a another pre-spawn channel i knew they'd be over here in the shallow check that out guys they have been on fire today fire boom another pre-spawner I don't have room in my bucket. I just it. I was only going to keep three, but I'm going to go ahead and keep a fourth one. Put these guys on a string so they don't die in that bucket. on the far side of the lake now and there's this old log cabin over here which is pretty cool but recently somebody came over here and burnt this place down which is a big loss because the city was planning on doing something with it as a really neat old log cabin i take you inside but it's too dangerous i won't be going in there especially after it caught fire Hopefully I still have the footage of it burning. I'll show you guys, but yeah, here's the cabin. And we're gonna try down here another little cove before we head out. I think we got plenty to eat. So we'll head out and cook these up. Do a taste test on these hybrids and channel cats. Oh, I just got stabbed in the foot. All right. So the bite turned off. We hiked all the way around the lake, didn't catch anything. We're gonna we can come back up here anytime and get on some more of these. But let's get back to the house and cook these fellas up. Put some breading on them. Should be really good. So we'll see you when we get back there. All right, guys. So we are back at the house, about to clean these fish up right here. I was planning on doing a whole fish fry, but. My wife's already got dinner prepared, so we're just going to clean up the bigger of the uh, hybrid bluegill and one of the channel cats and go ahead and get them prepared and fried and see which one tastes better. 
which I already know I like channel cats. We'll go ahead and get that guy cleaned up and this smaller guy right here. And it should be really tasty. I'm not gonna show you guys me cleaning these because I left my bait knife at the dam the other day. Or my, I left my good knife at the dam and my cooler. And now I'm stuck with my bait knife. So we're gonna skip that because I'm gonna do a hack job. We'll get these fillets off of here and we'll head to the kitchen. My daughter's also bringing me some cicadas. We're gonna deep fry them as well and try them out. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> Let me see, what do you got? The cicadas, Let me see. so they're in there. Are we gonna deep fry them? Yeah. Okay, hold them in there, or keep them in there and then we'll put them in there. <laughs> this ought to be fun. This is gonna be fun. So we're doing some traditional Andes yellow breading. That's what I prefer on catfish. We'll do the fish first, and then we'll put the cicadas in there. Are you gonna eat it? Mm. Or are we gonna make Papa eat it? Pap. Pap said he wanted to eat one. I'll try it. Start out with the hybrid. Round ball. So here we go. We got the heat set to 350. I actually turned it down, it got a little hot, but. Yeah. 350 degrees is perfect for frying fish. It's bubbling. It is bubbling. We'll take a look at that here in a minute when it's done. Now we need to take its legs and wings off. No, we're just going to do the whole thing. What? So depending on where you guys are in the country, we are in Kentucky, Ohio, and Indiana, and our 17-year brood cicadas have emerged. Mm -hmm. so this is, they are just everywhere. Here we go. I can't believe we're doing this, Shook. Here we go. There they go. Oh, the breading didn't stick to them. Oh, they're gonna pop. Get back. Oh no, they did. They look like they was gonna pop. I scared of my chair. There's some breading on them. I think they're already done. Much All right, yeah, so this is the the hybrid bluegill yeah, and this is the channel cat and We're gonna see which one tastes better and then I'll, I'll do it again. I'll try it myself and No cocktail sauce when you're tasting it. Okay That'll be cheating Days you want to try it Yeah. I meant the cicada <laughs> <laughs> Dad's gonna eat the cicada. I know you guys are dying to see me eat this cicada. It's gonna be funny. I can't believe I'm gonna do it, but. So, I like this. I like it. You like that one? Mm -hmm. I'll try a piece of this one. Yep. This one's the catfish. Is it hot? Mm. Which one do you like better, the first one or the second one? Both. You like them both? I was gonna say, close your eyes and we'll hold up our fingers and say one or two, which one we like better. Ready? Um, one. Oh, you guys both like, I like the bluegill. The blue mm -hmm. All right, it's, it's Dad's turn. Okay. Try that one. Okay, I'm gonna try this one. Yeah, that's hard to pick. They're both so good. I'd have to say the bluegill, but they're both really good. All yeah. right. Yeah, so now someone is gonna have the cicada. Yeah, me. Okay, so Daddy <laughs> is gonna try the cicada. Here it is. He's gonna try. I'm gonna see if we can focus in on this. Real close. I hope it's the uh, it's That's the, it right there. That's what you he's ready? eating. Okay. I'm gonna do it. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna eat the head. Ew. Oh my gosh. That ain't bad. That tastes like the grease. Yeah, it just tastes like the grease. Yeah. <laughs> but the thought of it. Hang on. <laughs> The thought of it was uh, <laughs> hard going down. I almost threw up. 
Mm-mm. You can get some cocktail sauce on there. Nope. <laughs> but I did it. I did it for you guys. So I really appreciate you guys watching. You are truly blessed if you made it this far in the video. I really appreciate it. And we will see you guys in the next video. So if you're sitting on the couch right now, make sure you get out and go fishing. Peace. Bye.